Going back to the pencil, what makes the pencil tool unique is that its lines are uniform size. They don't get thicker and they don't get thinner. And for cartoons, that can certainly be a big benefit. Once again, you have a few options here. And you can pick more than one of these options at a time. But if you'd like to draw behind, you can see that my new strokes are behind those older blue strokes. If I choose the auto flatten mode, then when I draw a bunch of strokes and I pick them up with my uh, selection tool, you can see that they all behave as one group. One thing you can do with the pencil tool is to draw invisible strokes so that you can get uh, filled areas without actually showing the line itself. So to do that, pick on the pencil and go over to the view menu and make sure that show strokes is selected. Next, make sure to set your pencil size to zero. You can do that by using this slider and then you draw your shape and you'll be able to see the strokes temporarily but they won't actually have any line weights. That way you can pick your paint bucket, you can go over and pick a color and then you can fill that shape in and now when you go back to view and you uncheck show strokes then you have a very nice filled shape but without any stroke showing. You can even go back later and modify those invisible strokes with the contour editor. So when I pick the contour editor and touch the uh, shape, you'll find that I can move the parts of the shape around to get uh, different, you know, completely different effects and move it all around.